Hi everyone, this is Brian Gundy from Forgiveness Snakes out of San Jose. And um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about breeding boas. And the reason why I'm putting this video together is uh, I just put together a video on breeding ball pythons and a couple of friend, friends of mine, Barnaby and uh, Chris out of the UK, asked that I put together a video on breeding boas. So I thought, okay, why not? I will tell you right off the top that breeding boas is, is a total dif totally different uh, adventure <laughs> than breeding ball pythons or colubrids. This snake is a challenge right off the top. So I any of you that are even considering breeding boas, I will tell you that the, the, that the uh, industry finds this to be a pretty good um, challenge when it comes to reproducing this animal. This is a Sun Glow Motley that I produced in 2008. And as far as I'm concerned, I feel uh, very fortunate to have uh, produced uh, the litter that this snake came from. Um, but, uh, so what I do as a breeder, uh, and because I'm breeding ball pythons and boas, I somewhat have to keep the... Um, the timing and the temperature are somewhat the same because I am uh, breeding all these snakes in the same room. So what I do with the boas is um, in uh, around Thanksgiving, <coughs> excuse me, I'm uh, lowering the temperatures uh, to uh, no lower than 77 degrees during the night. Uh, because I have my space heater set up so that this um, this room will not get any lower than 77 degrees. During the day, um, I heat these guys up pretty good. Um, I'm Their heater tape, the temperature at their heater tape is around between 92 and 96, between 6.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. At night, after 6.30 p.m., everything goes off again, all the way back down to 77 degrees, or ambient room temperature. Um, these guys, I, I will start cooling them down for about a month, and then after a month, after cool, after that initial first month cool down, I will start introducing the males to the females. Now, when I say introducing, it's really I just put the male in with the female and leave them. I do not take them out. The only time, <coughs> excuse me, I take them out is to feed them. Um, they stay together continuously uh, until uh, about um, February and uh, by that time you will have probably already seen ovulation in the females and um, you probably will either have gravid females or not and um, but these guys uh, will continuously court um, it will look like they're breeding because uh, they'll be they'll have vent to vent but um, it's very rare to see um, actual copulation with these guys and so when I see uh, vent to vent well, like I said it is continuous day and night for days if not weeks at a time the female will um, go through a pre-ovulation swell and then she will ovulate uh, she'll look like she's eaten a rabbit but the reality of it is um, there hasn't been no rabbit introduced into the cage uh, once that <coughs> excuse me once that female is ovulated uh, she will shed 105 this is called the post ovulation shed and uh, 105 days uh, plus or minus a couple days after that post ovulation shed she should uh, drop her litter um, that's about it again this is a much more difficult animal to breed I do not consider myself a very successful boa breeder I am still struggling at this uh, as most boa breeders are uh, there are some that just get it and it's, it all just works but the rest of us um, seem to be struggling to produce this beautiful animal and um, so anyway, I hope uh, the information I've given you will help. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you guys can give me a call at 408-981-6694 or you can email me through my website at fgsnakes at sbcglobal.net. All right, you guys, hope you're, everybody's having a great season. And, um, you know, I do um, 
I do really want everybody to produce a lot of animals because you know we're all here to like I said we're, we're all here to have you know just a lot of fun with this and this is our passion so I have um, obviously no issues with passing on any information on breeding these guys and if you guys have questions on how to breed colubrids I bred colubrids for about 10 years so I'm pretty um, I'm pretty comfortable with that process also so uh, you know, just let me know if I can help alright Sun Glow Motley I think we've done enough alright you guys hope you're having a great season take care bye bye